YouTube. Just want to do a quick little video. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while because I've been kind of sick and kind of busy. So, um, new additions to the tank. I got some uh, blue, blue chromuses. They're pretty cool. I got those uh, three bucks a piece. Oh yeah. Um, I also got some orange. This one on this side is orange and red Matsuporas. Um, a green hair, like a green hairy mushroom. Not sure what the name is, but it's pretty cool. And behind there, behind that mushroom is like a purple mushroom that I just found a couple days ago. Um, that's a, a tan bird's nest up there. Um, I got a, a tan uh, hammer coral right there. Uh, got some frog spawns. I don't know if I did a video on that. Back there I got a, a pink bird's nest. And there's the other green zoos. Like Kenya tree. It's kind of starting to spawn split or whatever it's called. Those other Kenya trees are starting to come back after they kind of died off a little bit. The zoos are up, I moved all the zoos and everything onto that one rock and glued them all in there. Um, my torch coral. The green stars are all finally back and going all crazy. There's my scooter bunny, a little frag of the green stars. My leather kind of fell all the way back here, and I can't really get to him, so he's going to be staying back there. I don't really care about him. That one pisses me off anyways. Um, there's my Rose Bowl tip and enemy in there. Kind of put him in that, uh, it's a little PVC with a acrylic underneath uh, glued to the bottom of it. It's kind of like my little frag plug for the, uh, Anemones, because they don't—they can't—they don't really get out of it. They just kind of stay in there. But the only thing problem is they have uh, some of the crabs and stuff that go in there and piss it off. So every now and then they gotta go pick them up. But if you noticed, kind of redid my rockscape to create less dead spots. Everything's pretty much off the ground. A lot of caves, little crevices, and everything. So. Got a frog spawn frag right there. Um, there's a pink bird's nest frag. And this is a tan. This was an accident. I wasn't really going to frag it. Then they kind of broke the tips off. So I just kind of stuck them on a rock to see if they'll start growing. Uh, the tan one was actually bigger. But I kind of snapped it in half. So I just kind of stuck two little pieces on there. Oh well. Whatever. Um, I had some green slime. Or green slimers frags right there but they kind of bleached out and died so they just kind of sit there now um, uh, 250 watt metal halide unit just chilling up there um, there's the cooling fan kind of makes it all nice and cool so it doesn't overheat Tank stays at good temperature. There's my uh, coral bandit shrimp. He's doing pretty good. My clownfish are getting big. That's the female right there. She runs the tank. As soon as I put those chromuses in, the female fucking just rammed uh, the chromus like, right in the side just to show her, show them that who, this is her tank. So I already know she's gonna be the. Uh, the boss of the tank, so, but whatever, it's kind of cool, um, if you notice, I kind of took out that protein skimmer, because it wasn't really working right, but, um, I'm gonna play around with that, get it going, again, I kind of just threw that little one back on here for now, um, but I redid this, um, I put my macroalgae in the second chamber here, just so when the water comes in, it kind of flows through the macroalgae. Um, my light's right over it. So it does a little bit better. Um, got a couple pieces of live rock down here. My little frag, uh, frag stand that I made. 
but <clears throat> it's I just have it down here for now. I don't really have that much to frag. I had it over here in this corner right here, but I don't really have much to put on. There's only three little things I have right now. But uh, yeah, I just want to do a quick little video for you guys. Um, everything's doing pretty good. Uh, this kind of like a turned like a a bright greenish white, but uh, hopefully that's doing good. I'm not sure. It's a really, you kind of see the color on it, but uh, yeah, that red mushroom, oh, he actually kind of shrunk, he's actually pretty big, before he was like a little penny, but now he's half dollar, he's getting big, um, chromuses seem to be liking it in the tank, I kind of like the chromuses, I like the way they look and everything, they got like, they look blue and then like sometimes they'll hit a different shade of light or whatever and it kind of turn green kind of cool but the seahorse is doing good um, I kind of put this little piece of acrylic on here just to try to keep the water from vapor or, uh, evaporating but yeah I just want to do a quick little video so my, my little shelf with all my stuff in there so that's my tank so far I like the way it's coming along doing pretty good so rate comment subscribe uh, I'll try to get some more videos up but kind of feeling kind of crappy right now so I just want to do a quick little video but uh, I don't know if you can see I'm starting to get a bunch of Coraline algae on the side right here kind of see it the little spots a piece right there a bunch of pieces right here just kind of like all over on the side I haven't really noticed anything on the back, but, yeah, there's not really anything in the back wall, but, whatever, so, not really much on this side either, but it looks pretty cool, that's from the side, kind of looks cool. That's it. That's all I got to say for now. Um, keep you guys tuned in. I might get some more fish maybe later on. But yeah, that's my video here in my tank. So uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.